Hey y'all, it's B. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sedaris LLC. I hope you're doing well. It's January 8th, 12.38 a.m. where I am. Let's see what the tarot has for you today. Whoa. Ace of Wands. Okay. Four of Cups. does not add up at all. I'm, I'm hearing new attitude in my head when I looked at the Four of Cups. <laughs> Got the High Priestess here. The Star. I guess I'll do two rows. Uh-oh. Six of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups. Got the Sun peeking at the bottom. And there it is. The sun here, the king of cups, I want to say the king of cups, <laughs> I don't know why, king of cups, then we have the two of cups, hierophant at the bottom of the deck, some of y'all about to get married, just saying, oh. That's wonderful. If so, congratulations. I don't know. I just got that feeling. Somebody might be proposing soon. Oh my God, how exciting. That's so beautiful. OMG. Well, if that's for you, congratulations. But let's get into this spread. All right, so with the higher font at the bottom of the deck, overall, there's like some sort of commitment here, some sort of maybe even spirituality, some sort of spiritual leadership as the overall energy. Also, it's Taurus energy. So let's see. We start off with, whoop, my chair is popping. <laughs> anyway, we start off with the Ace of Wands going to the Four of Cups. And then we have the Magician. So somebody, you could be having a hard time manifesting your new energy with the Ace of Wands here. Really beautiful new energy, like a new opportunity to seize the day is what it feels like. But for some reason, you're struggling with that. It's like a, you're not looking at, you're looking toward the new opportunity, like that you're looking at this cup that's being offered to you. But for some reason, there's like a bittersweetness to it. You're having trouble. You may be trying to talk to your spirit team or you may be trying to stay in like prayer, but for some reason you're not really feeling connected. Then after that, we have the magician. Yeah. Major Arcana right next to the high priestess. That's Virgo energy. That is Pisces energy. And then we have the star Aquarius energy. So I feel like what will bring you balance in this situation is if you, and I don't want to say manifest, but yeah, manifest. This is a really good time for you to manifest, except for that energy. So what do you need to do to get out of that Four of Cups energy if that's what, where, where you are, where you're in? That's weird. If that's the energy you're in, how do you get out of that? With the High Priestess and the Star here, it's like there's a need for balance. And I feel like meditation is gonna be very important. So prayer and meditation, and overall what that is to me is clearing the mind. You may need to write, um, or even just talk to a friend, somebody you trust about clearing out, or not even about clearing out the negative energy, just about how you're feeling, because sometimes just getting something off your chest can help you clear your mind. And that will put you in a better space to manifest and maybe affirm to yourself positive affirmations. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like you are, you're at the cusp of something and there's good energy around you, but it's like you're having trouble feeling it. And then on the second row, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. And then the Page of Cups. So this could be what's been distracting you. It could have to do with an Aquarius, it may not. But with the Six of Pentacles reverse, it's like some kind of situation where it just feels unfair is what I'm feeling like. 
You could be waiting on an apology about some unfair situation. I feel like there's a need for you to not wait on an apology. Maybe some of you need to write down what you're feeling and just be like, this is the apology you should have given me. <laughs> so you can get that off your chest. This is what should have happened if it didn't. You know, just how you feel. Or this is what I feel like. This is what I feel like should have happened. But what it is, is what it is. And so there's a need for you to accept what it is. So you can move forward into the new energy because the sun is here. It's like you see the truth, but you're just almost distracted from it. Yeah, like you're waiting on somebody else to clear, clear it up for you. We have the, after the Six of Pentacles reversed, then we have the Page of Cups, then the Sun, Leo energy, clarity, truth, illumination, happiness. And this, I feel like it's clarity. And then right after the sun is the king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you could have been dealing with a water sign. You could be a water sign yourself because this isn't a sign reading. It's just for the collective, but there's a lot of water energy here. And then at the end, there's a partnership. So you could be waiting on somebody to clear something up with you about another relationship they were in. You might've wanted a relationship with somebody and you're wondering why it fell through. Let's clarify. What is this Ace of Wands here with the Four of Cups? Eight of Pentacles, working on something. Yeah. You could be working towards something new, something for yourself, a new business idea, a new venture. But you're having to really pull through. So it's like you're needing to use all of your energy. You're needing to consciously focus on whatever this is because it's not coming so naturally to you. The strength being there with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like it's taking everything you have to work toward this thing or to stay focused on it. Clarify this magician for me. Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Double, yeah. So some sort of new emotional beginning. Hmm. What is this about? Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Somebody could want a new beginning with you, a new emotional beginning with you, or there could be some water sign, feminine energy. Hmm. This feels like two separate things in one reading. Can I get one more on this magician clarified by the Queen of Cups and Ace of Cups? Queen of Wands, yeah, there's another queen. So we have two queens out and then we have one king. This feels messy. I don't really like it. And we have the um, temperance at the bottom of the deck here, Sagittarius energy. So yeah, you're working on new things. You're really focusing your energy. Maybe after closing something out with this Queen of Cups energy, you may have cut this person off, male or female. You may have cut off a Queen of Cups energy or vice versa. They might have cut you off. Um, there's a Queen of Wands involved too. Heavy Sagittarius, it feels like, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Just the embodiment of a woman or, you know, feminine energy who is fiery and beautiful and really kind of in command of the room when she's in it. It's not reversed and the Queen of Cups is not reversed either. So I don't feel any like real malice here. 
but they clarified the magician. Why? Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You may have been out of communication with these two people or with this one person for a long time. I feel like with the Ace of Wands, this Queen of Cups energy views you in this Wands energy. They see you as doing new things, moving forward, not focused on them, and they kind of want to come back and have some sort of friendship with you is what it feels like, or rekindle something with you. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and they kind of want to, they just want to know you right now, see what's going on. But why? Lots of pinnacle energy here. Like, what are you doing next? What are you working toward? It's like they want to know what you're doing, what you're working toward. So what about this High Priestess and the Star? For some reason, this is giving them a lot of grief. Why is this high priestess here? Ugh. I hope this is not what it feels like. World at the bottom of the deck with the two of wands. Yeah, I feel like You've completed something. You've you closed out something with this energy. I feel like you closed out something with this water energy and you're moving forward. It seems like they're trying to figure out what you're doing. They may have consulted with somebody. They may have gotten a fire sign involved too to try to figure out what it is you're doing. They could be trying to do some kind of shady business. They could be doing some kind of spell work. I hate to do that, but my eyes have been open since I started reading tarot. There are a lot of people that do that, especially I guess in this community, people just go crazy with it. And in a, in a regular sense, like in an everyday sense, people who don't mess with those kind of things, they use manipulation. So they could be asking around, they could be gossiping, they could be trying to figure out what you're doing and by practical means, uh, abusing their power in a situation, maybe doing background checks they have no business doing to see what you're up to. Let's see. What is your next move? Yeah. Can I get some clarity on the star, please? temperance another major arcana so they could have been you know, Sagittarius energy again so that's more fire energy with the star this could involve a Sagittarius and a an Aquarius but I think Aquarius opposite sign is Leo but I don't know what that has to do with anything except the strength keeps showing its face but it's like yeah, somebody's trying to be really patient. It's what it feels like and keep their cool, keep their cool when it comes to doing this or trying to figure out when to approach you. They feel like they've been patient. You've been focused on other things. You're not looking toward them and that's what's causing this. But I feel like it's weird having those two queens come out with this one king at the bottom of the deck. So let's keep going. This six of pentacles reversed and the Page of Cups. What is this about? Three of Cups. I'm feeling gossip again in that situation. Nine of Wands. Yeah, having to be on the defensive. So this is somebody you don't really trust anyway. Um, yeah, these could be people that you, if, if it's two people separate from you, or if it's just one other person who's viewing you in the Queen of Wands energy, it's like it's somebody that you already didn't trust, or people that you didn't really feel comfortable around, and I think that's why the Nine of Wands is here. 
yeah, you always felt like you had to be on guard around them. Anyway, you might have felt like a fake energy with these people. The chariot. And you got up out of there. You got up out of there with the chariot. Yeah, so you kind of cut the situation off. We saw the world earlier. You decided to end it. Whatever it was, you just like, this is not good for my energy. I need to focus on new things. And it seems like you successfully did that. We started off with the Ace of Wands. And it wasn't easy for you to do because the Ace of Wands is followed by the Four of Cups. So what is this Page of Cups here? Clarified by the Five of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there could have been some kind of a conversation that kind of illuminated this to you. There was some kind of final straw where you might have had like a small conversation or even like received some sort of a message from somebody and you were just like, oh, this is too fake for me. I can't. And you decided to hold back with the Four of Pentacles. You may also be getting an apology from somebody who was holding something back from you or they wanna come in and this is what they've been wavering about. Whether or not to come uh, towards you with an apology. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Judgment, yeah. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So it's like they're taking a look in the mirror. Yeah, they're taking a look in the mirror. And kind of, so maybe they really do feel bad about whatever happened or how they treated you before. I feel like they might not have expected you to really shut them out. But what does it have to do with this King of Cups? They may want to tell you something about a King of Cups. What is the sun here? Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. So something about a family situation. Let's see, can I get one more? Something you haven't been able to see up to this point or something they were trying to hide from you as well. Yeah, it's been a burden on this person to hide this from you. Mm, I'm also kind of feeling they could have maybe snuck behind your back with this one King of Cups. They might have known you like this person or they knew you were dating this person and they maybe engaged with this person behind your back. Five of Swords, this could have been their plan. They did it on purpose, like it wasn't an it just happened kind of thing. It was definitely yeah, 1808 on the clock as I said that. It wasn't like, a, it just happened. It was more like a this is what I want. This is what it feels like. So they want to tell you this to unburden themselves. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Two pages here. So they may want to tell you the truth about the situation. There could be a child involved. There may be a child that's been born from this situation or conceived from this situation. But for some of you, this is just an indicator, like a clue. This could be somebody you know who has a child, like a friend of yours who is also a single parent or something like that. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Lots of water. Lots of water here. Um, so who is this King of Cups? Can we get some more information about this King of Cups? Ooh. So the King of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Swords. And also the Six of Swords. So, I feel like the King of Cups, he left the situation, whatever it was, if, if he engaged with this woman, 
this feminine energy, the, the masculine energy has exited the building. Then we have the devil here. Could be somebody who's a Capricorn with lots of water in their chart. Possibly also Aquarius is what I'm feeling. Three of Pentacles and the lovers. So even if this person was successful in like dealing with somebody that you were also dealing with, what they didn't realize is this person may have also still been dealing with others behind their back. Uh, maybe they thought that just because it's somebody that you were with or somebody that was interested in you that it would be perfect for them. This is still like that weird petty energy of somebody kind of just wanting to take something from you. But when they did it, they still felt stupid because this person wasn't really interested in them is what it feels like. with the lovers here, Gemini energy. Yeah, they wanted to build, but it's like he was building elsewhere or wanted to build elsewhere. So yeah, I feel like the King of Cups is long gone and they may even be thinking about you as their actual true pairing with the, the lovers there. Yeah, I'm hearing I couldn't ask for another, which is justice for this person's greedy behavior maybe for both of them, if they both knew that you were a common party between them and they went and did that anyway. It's like the justice for the one person who was supposedly your friend is that this person didn't really like them like that and they ended up still getting played and, and left. And for the person who you were interested in, now they can't really come back to you. If they do, they'd have to come back with their tail between their legs. And, and it's sad because it's like, you're who they really want. You're actually what they would really want, not just a fling, and they see that now. What about this Two of Cups? Yeah, that must be the Two of Cups. Clarity on this Two of Cups, please. The strength. King of Swords. So there's another king. <laughs> But you could just be embodying the King of Swords energy, which is like, I had to be strong and cut this out on both ends. But let's get a little bit more information. More please on the Two of Cups clarified by the strength. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's more of like a, to me what I'm feeling is like a, a more wise energy and it took you some time to get there. So you had to use like logic and, and air energy. You had to tap into air energy as well to really be able to use logic and cut this out so you could stand in your own power and be in a more balanced state. Pinnacle energy, building energy, building for yourself now. And that took a lot of strength. You could possibly interact with this person again. The King of Cups is what I'm feeling. And you might be able to make something work if you wanted to, but you would really have to think like long and hard about it with the Hermit here. It would be something you're being advised to think long and hard about. Can I get one more please on the Two of Cups with the Strength and the Queen of Pentacles? Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, this situation was stressful for you at some point. If not recently, this was a past situation. And you may not have known, like this is something that you suspect with the High Priestess coming out in the original spread, but you weren't sure. Fool at the bottom of the deck. So they're looking at you, this King of Cups energy is looking at you in a Queen of Pentacles energy. And it's like they want back in because now they see your value. That word is important for some reason, value. Yeah, Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. They wanna come in, they wanna get things started. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. But I feel like this Page of Wands, Eight of Wands is almost like, 
It's your energy. It's like you're, you're on a new path. You started out with the Eight of Wands and you're not looking toward building with this person anymore. I feel like you could just be over it and you're trying to take advantage of this wheel energy and that hasn't been easy for you. But don't beat yourself up about that if it hasn't been easy for you. I mean, change is not always easy. It rarely is. But you're doing it. Is there any advice for the collective about this situation? So this doesn't have to be a romantic situation either. It could be anything where somebody kind of went behind your back and did something, but that's what's sticking out the most. It's like a friend, some kind of friend that went behind your back and tried to take somebody from you. They may have been involved with somebody else already anyway. And then they realized that this person didn't want them like that. Yeah, two of pinnacles reversed. As the advice, I feel like that's saying you've got to make up your mind or you already have. I feel like you probably have already made up your mind, but with the two of pinnacles reversed, that's what I feel like it's saying. Like you're not juggling the decision anymore about the new beginning. You've already started it with the emperor at the bottom of the deck. It's like you're stepping into Aries energy, really taking charge and using your logic. We saw the king of swords earlier and the queen of pinnacles. So you're using like grounded, logical, head over heart energy. Even though the queen of pinnacles does incorporate her heart, she's more about like, I always think all is well in the kingdom. So making the decisions that need to be made. And I feel like that's where you are, especially with the emperor here at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, let's see. What does the rebel deck have to say? Rebel that have to say about the situation from my YouTube collective. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just got the song for the Tums. You remember Tums commercials? Tum to Tum Tums. Tum to Tum Tum Tums. I just got that. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe somebody's having heartburn. We got detox from the Rebel deck. You're giving too many fucks. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Apologize. Seriously, just do it. Take it as it resonates, but I feel like that's the other person. Stop texting, talking, stalking. Stop checking on that person, just stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So I think that's confirmation for you if you've let go or if you're letting go that you're doing the right thing. You're focused on new opportunities with Make It Rain showing up here. <laughs> Loosen up, control freaks don't get laid. <laughs> that could just be a side note for somebody. <laughs> then we have, hmm, just going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or quit. So for some of you, this is about work. Somebody hiding something from you at work. And you're, you're deciding whether or not you want to continue forward. It looks like you have your answer. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or quit. So yeah, I feel like you're already on that path. You're, you're making moves in the direction you want to be in, whatever that means for you. And I feel like you're doing it silently. If you're not, do, do that silently, please. Then we have be grateful. It could be so much worse. So yeah, you know, this could be really a draining situation for you, especially if you had a suspicion and no one ever confirmed it. But the beautiful thing about closure is we really have to give it to ourselves. So whether or not these people ever do decide to tell you the truth of what really happened, you, can choose to move forward. And I think you have, I think you are. And so that's wonderful. Yeah, at the bottom, we have that little voice inside you. Listen to it. You've been doing the right thing. And at the top, we have whatever you're thinking about, don't do it, now is not the time. So I feel like that's a dichotomy. Like you're you're doing like a, it's like a two-sided coin 
double meaning. So like on the one hand, you're doing the right thing by moving forward, stay on that path. You, you have a feeling that these people have been lying to you, they probably have, but do you need to sit there and like ruminate over it? No. Or let it plague you? No. They did what they did, just move forward. Acknowledge how you feel about it once and for all, and then just keep going because you've been going forward. And I think that's the right thing. And then with whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. That's if you're trying to go back and be like, I don't know why I just heard Sally. Sally. I don't know why I just heard that. But if you're trying to go back and be like investigating the situation and interviewing people, trying to figure out what's going on, no. That would not be the right thing to do. Just um, it's not easy to let that go. It's what it feels like from this situation. It hasn't been easy for you to let it go, but that's the right thing is to just uh, give yourself closure and continue to focus on what's gonna bring you actual success and joy. That person, that project, that idea. I said person first. So for some of you, there's somebody new. Don't ruin something new by focusing on what happened in the past. And please, I don't know who needs to hear this. If you're starting, like if you actually are starting to go out again, I would recommend not opening up about your ex on the first date with somebody new. I, I wouldn't wanna be listening to anyone about a former person while I'm supposed to be getting to know them. That's just my opinion. Just saying, just saying. Um, and if you're working towards something new, release that toxic energy, whether it be from old friendships, old jobs, if those are cycles that you've closed out and, and you know if you've always dealt with toxic people in those situations, Try not to let that stain what you're working toward. Okay, that's what I got for you and I will see you very soon. Bye.